Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you guys back to another edition of Monday Night uh, Monday Night Raw uh, post radio show. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for yet last week. Uh, last week I was out babysitting my cousins. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that new theme song. I want to thank uh, Lost in a Name. Or let me use their theme music. And yes, YouTube, if I find out that it says, oh, this is blocked in other countries, you'd kiss my ass about it. Because I love using their theme music. But ladies and gentlemen, I am Michael Miner, the man of the hour. I want to welcome you guys to a raw post raw uh, post raw radio show. Uh, there's not much to talk about. We'll talk about some of the stuff that's on the website. Uh, but first, our colleague with us tonight, he is part of my review show. He does a lot of my tapings for me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Travis Neely, say hello to the fans. What is up, everybody? Uh, I hope everybody's having a great day and staying cool outside because it is burning up here in South Carolina. But uh, anyway, I hope everybody's doing awesome and raw. Can't wait tonight. And, you know, fans, I don't know if fans know this, but you will get addicted to the Nitro Girl episodes on the network. That's all I have to say. But welcome to the radio show. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, as you guys know, there will be a first ever uh, Monday Nitro uh, episode. Uh, but if you wanted to go look for the Nitros, just if you have the WWE Network, look under Vaults on your WWE Network. You'll be able to find all the episodes of Monday Nitro. Um, that, or if you guys want to wait till after Monday Night Raw, they have a first one of the first ever episodes of Monday Nitro live on the live stream. So hope you guys enjoy it. All right, we're going to go ahead and talk about a few things for Monday Night Raw. Uh, I heard of last week was not that good of Monday Night Raw. Uh, so I hope this uh, new stuff that's coming up tonight will boost everything up. Um, our first thing we're going to talk about, uh, Chris Jericho will have his highlight reel um, tonight on Monday Night, Tra on Monday Night Raw. Uh, his special guest on Monday Night Raw, on Monday Night Raw, his uh, highlight reel will be the apex predator, Mr. Randy Orton. Uh, I wonder what kind of hard-hitting questions uh, awaits the Viper. Uh, can Y2J man maintain control when WWE's apex predator hits the ring for the uh, anticipated interview? Uh, so yeah, this is going to be a really awesome. Uh, uh, highlight reel. Uh, so, um, Travis, what do you think about this uh, highlight reel with special guest Randy Orton? Well, it's going to be very interesting to see. I don't. I, I thought we were going to see Chris Jericho and Bray Wyatt once again at Night of Champions. That was rumored. But could WWE possibly going in a different direction, having Orton and Jericho go at it at Night of Champions for uh, Jericho's uh, rumored last match? for his contract run, uh, but overall, the very interesting, I kind of see maybe, you know, uh, a brawl between Orton and maybe Jericho, uh, don't sure where they're going to have Bray Wyatt fit in now, I'm not sure, not sure about this, I maybe we we'll, might get to see a three-way match, maybe the Wyatt, Bray Wyatt will come in this, during this highlight reel as well, but, um, yeah, I, I'm kind of confused why Orton and Jericho having a highlight reel, because they never had, like, a, you know, a feud because Orton had a feud with Reigns and now Reigns is having a feud with Seth Rollins. I thought the Reigns and Orton thing was going to go until the Night of Champions again, but um, I guess not. I don't know what's going on with that situation. We'll find out tonight on Raw. Very interesting Raw, to, um, in my opinion, tonight. Yes, I can't wait to see that tonight. And also, ladies and gentlemen, also we're going to talk about um, about last week. Uh, John Cena beating uh, Bray Wyatt. To me, that was just pathetic. Um, Bray Wyatt just getting pretty much abused out of from John Cena. Um, all because John Cena 
you know, is livid that he wants to destroy uh, Brock Lesnar in his rematch at Night of Champions for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. It says, whether or not the Beast Incarnate got the message Cena delivered last week remains to be seen, but the C-Nation leaders just get, just getting started. What will be Cena's next message to the World Heavyweight Champion? Um, Travis, what do you what do you think uh, will be the next message from John Cena to uh, Brock Lesnar? Well, I think you know the next message to uh, Brock Lesnar from John Cena is you know is going to he's going to say I'm never giving up again. Maybe he, Cena might put a stipulation in this uh, title match. Maybe it, he might have like anything goes or maybe falls count anywhere type match or maybe last man standing or it might even be a, a submission match is all I know. Uh, there's, I'm thinking there's going to be a stipulation. Cena would tell Lesnar this tonight is my my guess, my prediction on this. And Brock Lesnar, he's not advertised for the show again this week, so uh, I don't know if they're going to have a via satellite deal with Brock Lesnar or if Brock Lesnar is going to be on the show or not. To me, I think he needs to lose the title. And, uh, you know, at least have Cena the champion. That way, Cena can actually be on Raw. So, there's the champion. So, my opinion, Cena's going to send Brock Lesnar a stipulation type deal for Night of Champions. All right. And, well, we have another championship that's uh, pretty much looking weird. Uh, we got AJ, uh, AJ Lee and um, Paige. It says AJ Lee is a like a box of chocolates. Uh, you never know what. What you're going to get after confusing uh, Diva champion, Diva's champion Paige with an awkward hug and an unusual kiss on the hand last Monday night. Uh, AJ present her friend with a heart-shaped box full of uh, sweet treats last week on SmackDown that ultimately left a bad taste in the title holder's mouth. The Divas Champion spit out one of AJ's gifted goodies. Uh, she, I think she's pretty much spit it on uh, AJ Lee. Uh, which was meant uh, met by AJ's creepy gaze since, well, Monday night. Just what the heck is going on between these frenemies? I don't know what the heck's going on with these two. Um, is someone going to be getting another match for Night of Champions or what? So, uh, Travis, what are your th thoughts on this uh, thing? That What uh, does AJ Lee have up her sleeve tonight for Raw? It's going to be very interesting. Uh, I can't wait to see what she has up her sleeve. Uh, you know, maybe, you know, maybe another stipulation or, you know, like I said with the Cena deal, might be that way too. I don't know, but in my opinion, I think uh, Natalia, maybe she'll add her, an opponent. Maybe maybe she'll add Natalia in the match. I don't know, make it a three-way match. And it, I really hope to see that and, uh, you know, and have Natalia win the title at Night of Champions and Shock the World. All right, and well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and talk about another point that I, I find these on WWE.com. Um, another one about uh, Dean Ambrose. Uh, when Dean Ambrose was uh, curb stomped to the uh, uh, cement block, uh, we have had a lot of things of who did what. Uh, we knew Kane was the one that did it. Uh, so now Roman Reigns is trying to get himself involved. Um, it just, it, the question is, will we we'll see, will we see Reigns get his hands on his former brother Monday night? Um, as you guys know, uh, I saw a video last week or last week of, uh, Roman Reigns, uh, throwing a cinder block, hurtling a cinder block at Roman, uh, uh Seth Rollins' skull, but missed. Um, and then at, uh, during the Wednesday WWE.com exclusive, uh, the thing is, is what's gonna, uh, what is uh, going to be Reigns' punishment for tonight? Uh, Travis, what are your thoughts on possibly? What do you think of uh, Roman Reigns going against uh, Seth Rollins possibly at Night of Champions? That's going to be awesome. Uh, I can't wait to see this match. And could we see possibly the return of Dean Ambrose come Night of Champions and maybe team with? Uh, 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 Roman Reigns and go after Kane and uh, Seth Rollins in a tag match. That would be something to see. But um, 
overall, um, I can't wait to find out what happens tonight. Probably they're going to put Reigns in his mind. All right, and well, ladies and gentlemen, the last part um, is about the sisters of Nikki Bella and Brie Bella. Um, last week on Monday Night Raw, it looked so just, it looks stupid. Um, it To me, when I saw the angle, you know, her grabbing her hair, just slapping the taste, I mean, to me, it feels like Nick, uh, Brie Bella is just crying for just the stupidity, uh, trying to get herself attention. But uh, I think to me, I think she needs to grow up and start being a woman and defend herself against Nikki Bella. To me, I would like to see this match at Night of Champions, but I don't know. Uh, I'd like to see what's going to happen tonight. Uh, Travis, what are your thoughts on this, uh, pretty much the breaking up of the, uh, the twin sisters of the Bellas? Well, I don't like the breakup. I wish they didn't break them up because they, just, you know, they just broke up a tag team in the Divas with the Funk Uh But anyway, I do. I can't wait to see this match as well uh, at Night of Champions, and I would, I would love to see a last Diva standing match. That would be awesome between the two sisters. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, it's about time we see some like a last man, a last wo woman standing. Uh, because, you know, TNA has been getting really good at doing last knockout standing uh, to me. But, uh, well, that is about it, ladies and gentlemen, for everything on um, on Monday Night Raw. Uh, we're going to do, do it just like what WWE does on their shows. We're going to get go ahead and give our role, uh, Raw Bold Predictions. Um, I want to see what's going to be more with the... Uh, with the United States Championship. Um, I didn't see much. All I saw is Cesaro winning the number one contendership for a title shot against um, against uh, Sheamus. Possibly might be at uh, Night of Champions. He might possibly get his uh, U.S. title back. Also, I want to see what else is going to go more with uh, Bull Dallas and Jack Swagger. Possible feud. And pretty much uh, seeing what John Cena has to see what John Cena is going to do on Raw tonight. Uh, good thing there won't be no Hall of Fame forms like it was last week. I heard it was horrible. So, uh, Travis, what is your Raw Bold Predictions? My Raw Bold Predictions is, you know, um, I think uh, the Authority is going to have something planned tonight, something going on, you know, go after Reigns, go after... You know, maybe Jericho because of Orton having a highlight reel. So I think, you know, Triple H is going to come out with the sledgehammer tonight and, you know, probably knock somebody out. And uh, and then somebody in the front row would just pass out, just pass out right then and there, uh, like Booker T always says. And my quack, quack, ducky, ducky moment of the night from last week was uh, Nikki Bella slapping the crap out of uh, Green. So that's my bold predictions for tonight. Alright, well ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go ahead and get going. Uh, looks like uh, WWE's uh, pre-show is going to be starting here in a few. Um, also, I want to say um, I want to get uh, our prediction about something. Uh, this Thursday night is, well, I don't know, Travis will be watching it. I don't know if I'll be watching it, but, uh, or no, actually, this Sunday is going to possibly be the debut of uh, Total Divas. I don't know if it's this Sunday or it's the next following Sunday. But uh, if it is this Sunday, I... Go ahead. It's uh, September the 7th, Total Divas. That would be next week. Okay, so it'll be next week. So uh, I cannot wait to see it. Um, I don't know if I'll be watching it or not, see what season three is going to be like, but ladies and gentlemen, I really want to thank you guys for watching. Um, so thank you guys so much. Good night. And we'll see you guys. Um, we'll see you guys for NXT, uh, review show for this Thursday or the NXT post radio show. Uh, cause we got a lot of good things to talk about the radio show. So good night. And we'll see you guys this Thursday night.